that was a song uh, that was one of my favorites during the Christmas season. <clears throat> song uh, made very popular uh, by Mark Lowry, who wrote the lyrics, and Buddy Green, who wrote the music. It's called Mary Did You Know. It's one of my favorite songs, and I would sing it if my voice wasn't so <clears throat> hoarse, and if it wasn't almost midnight. I've got neighbors, and I don't want to wake them up, but this is a lesson I'm going to go over to help you to understand how to play Mary Did You Know in the key of E minor. Now, that's the way I learned it. You can play it in other keys, certainly, but I learned it in E minor, and that's where we're going to go with it. It starts out in E minor, and uh, I'm not going to go over the whole. Having to play the melody. I will show you the chords, though, um, but I will go over that first part because it's, it's pretty cool to you know, start the song off like that. You're going to uh, put your fingers on the E minor chord. It's just easier to use your fingers on this song. You can certainly use a pick. I mean, it'll sound a little bit louder. But it just sounds to me more mellow. More mysterious with the little flesh of your fingers instead of that hard pick hitting those strings. So uh, once again, we're in E minor. Make sure this mic is working. Okay, and you're going to start if you play. You need uh, you're playing your E minor like this with these two fingers, these two middle fingers. Uh, your ring finger on the D string, the second fret, is going to slide up to two frets. And then you're going to hit the open G. G string uh, second fret and then just open the B string and then after you hit that B string your fingers need to be in position for that E minor and you can instead of doing it just like this you can actually rake down to it instead of just on one note So you're just going to sit here and play around with those strings. And the next chord is going to be a D. And um, I'm hitting a D. You can either do it this D, or you can do it the secondary D, it's a different inversion. Um, basically, I think I went over this in another lesson, I'm not sure. But take where your ring finger is on the D, you're going to leave your first finger here. Take where your ring finger is, lift it up, put your, first, your middle finger there instead. And then your ring finger is going to go down on the D string at the fourth fret. You're not going to worry about that bottom E. You're going to kind of mute it. It's going to give you kind of an anchor to uh, grab a hold of this bottom string. So. That's where you're going to hit. You're going to hit that G string. And hit it open. You want to you can leave this finger up hit that open G but since I'm so used to going that D I just used my pinky there so you might see me do that instead and then when I do that sometimes I slide up so I can get in that position that shape so that I can when I go down to that A minor my fingers already there That's an A minor with a uh, an added G. So that's the seventh. So that's an A minor seventh. I recognize that from I think uh, Stairway to Heaven. Maybe I don't know. But 
we're on Mary, did you know right now? And that's just an A minor with a lifted middle uh, ring finger. And then you're going to put your pinky down on that third fret of the E string to make it, that G note. So from the D. And then this chord is kind of like an E suspended. And it's going to give gonna hold there for a second before it goes to the B7. And now if a B7 is hard for you to play, then most of the time, like I said, I, I, I do a lot of shortcuts. I eliminate strings, I mute strings, so I don't have to play these long five or six string chords. I'll just take most of the time and lift that middle that ring finger and just play these two right here. They're these three notes that extra B string, not even hit the bottom string. It's just like a C7, but you're moving it down. And you're using these fingers instead. That's all a B7 is. It's just like a C7, but back here, it's almost like your, your finger that would be here on the C. When you move down, the nut is where your, your first finger would be. So it's serving as your first finger here. Little shortcuts like that. So let's go over uh, the whole thing real quick. Now you can add a little harmonic there. That would be at the uh, seventh fret on top of the fret, not in between, but on top of that seventh fret. This is where the dot is. You can't see the dots, but they're on the top of my guitar here. Okay, so this is where the dot is, the, the, the one, two, depending on if you have a third fret dot, it's either going to be the one, two, second dot, or the one, two, three, third dot. Either way, dot or no dot, it's going to be the seventh fret. And you're going to go to that fret and then go to the, the actual fret. In between that space and you're going to hit the G or the D the G and the B strings typically your pinky is the best one to use because it's just it seems like there's it's a lighter touch trill there. Okay. And then um, when you get to the bridge, it's a C. The blind will see. Deaf will hear. will live again. Now I'm going to a D there but I'm using the F sharp as the bass note and my thumb automatically since when I'm playing a G my thumb is already above that fret all I'm doing is when I go to that D I'm shifting his thumb up and looping over to that second fret and that's a walk down to the E you're just progressing downward but you're using chords to do it instead of just notes. G, D, E minor. So back to the chorus, the blind will see, the dev will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leave, the lame, uh, the lame is uh, the A minor, seven again here. Lame will leap, dumb will speak, Make sure I'm getting it right. I 
think that's the way I do it. Don't the blind will see, the deaf will I think that's actually supposed to be a diminished chord somewhere. I don't know where exactly because I've never tried it. I have to figure that out. So for now, just go to that D from the A minor on the, the, the lame leap. The dumb will speak. Praises that he suspended of the lamb. So all together. It's a 12 fret harmonic. And that's Mary Did You Know. Once again, uh, I will have to locate that, that chord. I can hear it in my head what it is, but I don't know what it is. It's probably a diminished chord of some kind that goes from that A minor instead of going to the D. It goes to that A minor to that chord. And then back to the... Uh, but that's Mary Did You Know, like I said, and I'll, I'll have to figure that out. And when I do, I'll post it. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you, you got a lot out of it. And uh, that'll give you something to play along with for this Christmas season. And there's one thing I just remember that I didn't point out. When I was playing, I played another variation of an E minor, which is this one. And I figured that out a long time ago based on another uh, a praise and worship song. Um... I don't know who sung it, but it, it starts out, it's it's all about you, it's not about me, um, so it's all about you, Jesus, and for the glory of your name, you alone are God and I surrender to your will, something like that, but it starts off with that little E, and I think, I researched that, or not researched, but I found it out when I, you know, learned it, I think it's an E minor seven suspended nine or seven suspended two I think that's what it is and you can do it different ways it's hard for me to do it this way um, you can think of it if you're going to play it like that as a B minor except you're just going to lift your pinky Okay, and that's for playing all six strings. But I don't do that typically. I just use that pinky. That's the way I learned to do it. It just seems easier for me to switch from there to a C if I need to. Okay. You always want to be able to play a chord in a, in a shape that will set you up for the next chord, the, the easiest. Okay. So there's a little variation you can use there. The E minor 7 suspended. I think it's what that's called. Without going into all the theory and trying to look it up on the fly. This video's running too long as, as it is, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if I get time, I'm going to do some more uh, Christmas themes, Christmas songs, maybe. Because uh, there's a lot of them out there I love to do. A lot, you know, Silent Night. Oh, Holy Night, um, Came Upon a Midnight Clear. I can just go over some of them as well. But uh, hope you enjoyed that. And subscribe. Find me on Facebook and Twitter as the Eric Beatty. And uh, 
thank you so much guys i really appreciate it i check my email daily and i've seen where a lot of people youtube will post and tell me when people subscribed and it's been a constant stream of you know nine ten people subscribing per month and it's all because of you guys putting the word out there and i appreciate that it really uh it really amazes me to know that uh my subscriber base is building i mean it's not in the you know thousands or whatever but i worked hard to get where i'm at on this youtube page and i did it selectively and i'm not one of these sub for sub people i want to subscribe to people whose channels deserve subscribing to in my opinion as far as my interest goes like guitar and some other things i dabble in you know you know dilly dally in but but yeah thank you guys for subscribing and keep it up and uh hopefully i'll be able to do some more questions answered if i can get around to it and if we can get some more questions out there but uh, uh so it, thank you very much I, i've enjoyed playing for you and i've enjoyed uh enjoyed showing you some of the uh techniques to one of my favorite songs of all time mary did you know stay tuned for the next lesson <laughs>